Good morning to you. It's Thursday. We continue now with uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, today verses 4 and 5. We have confidence in the Lord concerning you, that you are doing and will continue to do what we command. May the Lord direct your hearts into the love of God and into the steadfastness of Christ. Paul is very confident in the Thessalonians that they will continue uh, to do what uh, they are doing and will continue to do what he has commanded. And then he says, may the Lord direct your hearts into the love of God and into the steadfastness of Christ. This is the most important thing, that our hearts are directed into the love of God and that we remain steadfast in Christ, that we endure to the end. There are a lot of pressures that come upon us. We're living in a time when more and more pressure is being placed upon Christians, more and more pressure is being placed upon those of us who believe that God's word is true. Uh, we are being bombarded from all sides to, to change uh, the way we think and to water down the, the word of God to make it more palatable to people today. Well, we can't do that. We have to remain steadfast in the Lord. If we love God, we love his word and his word cannot be changed. We can't add to it. We can't subtract from it. We shouldn't try to water it down in any way. We remain steadfast. We endure to the end. The Apostle Paul said at the end of his life, I've fought the good fight. I've finished the race. Uh, uh, you know, he, he didn't give up. He didn't stop. It's hard. Nobody said that life was going to be easy. God doesn't promise us an easy life. What he promises us is that he will walk beside us and be with us all the way. David wrote in Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd. And then he said, even though I walk through the valley of death, I fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. You see, even though we walk through the shadow of the valley of death, we don't fear evil. Even though we go through difficult times, we don't give up. Because Jesus, our good shepherd, is with us all the way. And he gives us the strength and the endurance and the wisdom and the love and everything else that we need to get through. We live in a time when people give up so easily. The first thing goes wrong. They walk out of relationships. They walk out of jobs. They, they just get in a huff about things. We need to toughen up. We need to endure. We are in a battle. We're in a battle against darkness, but light will always win. We're on the winning side if we're on the side of the Lord Jesus Christ. So we just remain steadfast. We grow in our love for him, and we pray that he give us a steadfast spirit, that he help us to endure to the end, to not give up, but to have that blessed stubbornness. God said it, I believe it, and that settles it. So, Heavenly Father, we bow our heads before you in the precious name of Jesus, your Son and our Lord. And we thank you for this new day. We thank you for a night's rest. We say, great is your faithfulness. We say, Lord, thank you so much for saving us, for sending Jesus to die on the cross, to pay our sin debt in full, so that we may be your children. We thank you, Lord. And we ask that you would help our love to continually grow. We pray that you would lead us and guide us. Our daily prayer is, Lord, take my hand and lead me over life's rough way. With heavenly manner, feed me from day to day. Without your grace and favour, I go astray. Choose thou my way, O Saviour, choose thou my way. Lord, we just ask that you would help us to endure, help us not to give up, help us to remain steadfast. Fill us anew with your Holy Spirit, for without your Spirit we can do nothing. But with your Holy Spirit we can be like the Apostle Paul who said, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So, Lord, we just entrust it all to you and we ask your blessing over this day. We pray, Lord, for our country. We thank you for the freedom that we enjoy. And, if, and we pray for those who are in leadership, that you would give them wisdom and understanding and help them, Lord, to make the right decisions and to do the right thing. We pray for those who are living under tyranny. We pray for those who find themselves uh, in war-torn areas in Israel, Palestine, and Lord, also in the Ukraine, uh, Lord, we pray, have mercy. We pray, Lord, uh, have mercy on those who are lost. There are many, many that do not know you yet, Lord, and we pray that the gospel would reach out and touch their hearts. We pray, Lord, for those who are suffering. We pray for those who are sick. We pray for the dying. We pray, Lord, for those who mourn. We pray for those who are simply just meandering through life and don't know where to go or what to do. 
We also thank you, Lord, that you invite us and you say, come to me all who labor and are heavy laden. I will give you rest. So we pray for those who are feeling stressed and underburdened, that they will just learn to just turn to you and to give it to you, Lord, and to receive the rest, the peace and the joy that you offer to us. Heavenly Father, we pray for our families. We pray that love would increase. We pray that you would give us wisdom and understanding and help us, Lord, to navigate through this life in a way that brings honour to you. May your light shine in and through us today and always. Help us to love our neighbours as ourselves. Help us, Lord, to be good ambassadors for you. That is our desire. And now, Father, as we pray, we join together in praying. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, have a blessed day. God be with you. God willing, I'll see you all again tomorrow.